Hello, everyone. As your servant leader for the Lord, I realize that every day I am so blessed to be surrounded by an amazing team of officers, directors, associate directors, assistant directors, and secretaries that I have the privilege of working with here at our church headquarters for the Carolina Conference. These men and women are not only talented, but truly dedicated to serving you in the wide array of ministries that are part of God's work in both North and South Carolina. 2021 was truly a banner year for our conference family. God's blessings overflowed in tithes and offerings and the addition of new members to our office family. Now, most of these were due to a number of retirements that we experienced in our office. Let me introduce these new faces, most of whom joined us just last year and a few during the first quarter of this of 2022. Daryl and Ginger Bentley joined us from the Michigan Conference. Daryl now serves as our Associate Ministerial Director, and Ginger Bentley serves as the Administrative Secretary to my office. Ginger took the place of Babette Crawford, who had served under three different conference presidents for over 30 years in our office and retired just last April. Ricardo Palacios came to us from Adventist Frontier Missions, and he took the place of, of retiring Sam Romero, who, had, who was really the patriarch of our Hispanic ministries here in the Carolina Conference. Ricardo serves as the director of Hispanic ministries, church planting, and church revitalization. Henry Gomez, who joined us from Andrews University, serves as our assistant communications director for media ministries. Courtney Hodgins just transitioned to becoming the secretary for the Office of Education, and she took the place of Renee Earle, who also retired after several years of service for the Carolina Conference. Ellen Roberts is our conference clerk, our secretary for women's ministries, prayer ministries, and health ministries. Lorraine Gonzalez also joined us recently as the secretary for the ministerial council, and she serves the departments of the ministry, uh, ministerial department, the evangelism department, Hispanic ministries, church planting and church revitalization. So she really takes the place of two secretaries, Michelle Iglesias and Mary Romero. Vanessa Arana just joined us just this year as the secretary for our youth and young adult ministries department. I love that song, count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. As we keep trusting him, God always provides for our needs. Philippians 4.19 reminds us every day that as we trust in Jesus Christ, he will supply all of our needs. May God bless each of you.